Okay, so I was recording earlier and didn't realize that there was no sound. So, um, today we are making bubble bath truffles. Now, the difference between these bubble bath truffles and traditional bubble bath truffle, truffles are these truffles, they contain skin-loving butters as well as oils. This also contains colloidal oatmeal, which we all know is good and calming for the skin. It also contains milk powder, which we all know it is soothing to the skin for moisturization, um, making the skin soft. And milk also contains lactic acid, which is a skin like rejuvenator. So we have a lot of good ingredients in here. Uh, we also have rice bran oil, which is good for the skin and is loaded with vitamin E. We have vegetable glycerin, which is a humectant, which draws moisture to the skin. We have polysorbate 80. Now, now not polysorbate 80 doesn't do anything for the skin, but what it does do is it makes sure that the oils that are in your bath truffle, um, it likes keep it keeps them together with the water so that you know you don't collect a ring around the tub. And also, if you're using color, you won't collect a ring around the tub. And what will happen is when you let the water out, all the oils and the water will drain out the tub. We also have SLSA. SLSA is derived from palm or coconut, and it's a surfactant. A surfactant it creates bubbles and lather. So this is not only a skin enriching truffle, it's also a bubbling truffle. So it's not like you're gonna get a ton of bubbles, but what you will get is a, a creamy, silky, bubbly bath. And it's really nice and it's really relaxing. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so if you want the full recipe, you can go over to my Patreon and pledge $5 a month and you will stay up to date with all of the new recipes that I post there and you can see the full recipes of any of my bath products that I put on there. So you'll be able to create them yourself if that's what you decide to do. So first we are going to start with the SLSA. Now, I have these ingredients pre-measured for the simple fact. Number one, SLSA is a very, very fine powder. It's lighter than air. So, um, it's an irritant if you breathe it in. And we don't want to do all of that. So, when you're dealing with this SLSA, make sure that you have a, a face mask, okay? And one of the tricks to using the face mask is... Wet the face mask first because when you put it on, then the dust will cling to the water and the face mask and um, it's an extra precaution so the dust won't get into your lungs, okay? So, we're going to start with the dry ingredients. So, here's our SLSA. We add our baking soda. And then we're going to pour in our citric acid. My hands are clean, but you definitely should wear gloves for good hygiene practices, okay? So we're putting in our citric acid. Get some of these lumps out. So stirring could be easier. And what the citric acid does is when it combines with the baking soda, it creates a fizzing action. So it's kind of like a bath bomb, bath truffle all in one. And I'm also going to add my cream of tartar. What cream of tartar does is it gives it like a like creamy, I don't know what that was. I hope that was fireworks. It gives like a creamy um, consistency in the tub. 
so we're going to add our powdered milk and our colonial oil excuse me we're going to add our powdered milk and the get your life we're going to add our powdered milk and our colonial oats to the dry batter and it's going to mix that around and get it combined and do it slowly because like I said the SLSA is lighter than air and is very irritating um, to the lungs and I might have to take out my big um, mixing pail for this because this is a lot so I'll be right back So now that we have that together, we can get on to the wet ingredients. And I have cocoa butter, excuse me, I have cocoa butter, shea butter, mango butter, polysorbate 80, liquid vegetable glycerin, rice bran oil, and I also have the fragrance oil. And... The fragrance oil that I use today is Black Amethyst. Blackened Amethyst. Hope you guys can see that. Blackened Amethyst from Nature's Garden. I am going to mix the wet ingredients together, which are already pre-melted. So... Gonna mix those ingredients together and then I'm gonna put them inside of the dry ingredients and mix those together. I'm just gonna add the rest. And I'm gonna mix that up. Just make sure that everything is mixed together. You got all the oils and everything mixed inside. And like I said, if you see any lumps of baking soda, just make sure you get those too. So make sure you mix everything up. Some of this is going to be purple and then some of it is going to be the... Um, oatmeal y kind of color, so but it's going to be mostly the oatmeal -y color. So I'm going to put that over here and I'm going to color it with the purple mica. Now, I love Arteza because, um their pigments, they blend really easily. So I'm just going to eyeball what I want it to be. And you can do it how you want to do it. I'm just going to eyeball it and I'm going to be over here in this corner mixing the color around. Okay. So it's like a light purple color. What I'm going to do is... I'm just going to scatter it all over inside. I think that gives a nice contrast. And 
and then just slightly mix it up like that. And when you scoop it out, it'll look really nice. So I'm going to put this back into the original bowl. I'm going to put it back into the original container. And then, oh, my bra is showing. <laughs> I'm going to put it back in the original container. And then I'm going to scoop it out and I'll show you guys what I do next. <sighs> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out my space to scoop out my truffles with. And this is just regular freezer paper. And I ordered this from Amazon. Nothing fancy. Ordered it right from Amazon. So, we're going to start with these scoops. And I'm using a large ice cream scoop to scoop these out. We're going to finish these off. And these are going to sit for about two to three days. I like that. That's really nice. So now that my bath melts are all, my bath truffles are all scooped out, I am going to use this biodegradable Sparkle Me Aqua Fairy Dust from Mad Micah's. It is bath bomb safe, so you can use it for bath bombs. You can also use it for these. So the reason why I'm using this color is because my bombs are purple and white, and I thought they would look really pretty on top. And I'll show you one. I like pretty looking stuff. Everything that I make has to be pretty. Like, it just has to be. Or else I'm not going to be satisfied with it. Are you going to focus? Focus, focus, focus. Yes. Okay, great. I hope you can see that. It is so pretty. Yes, it's stuck because they're not dry. But when they dry, this is going to be my personal one since it's ugly. And I'll be selling ugly stuff. But we won't just smash that down real quick because that's mine. <laughs> And I am going to let you see how these, uh, the bubbling action of the 
truffles that's going to happen when you run it under the water in your tub. Oh, yeah. This is what the bubbles look like. I had already used the tea, so. But yeah, and it dissolves really quickly and warm. See it? Yeah. Nice luscious bubbles. And it's so soft and luxurious with the milk and the oatmeal and everything. And that was just a little piece. So thank you so much for watching. Look at these bubbles. I love them. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content from me and see new recipes, please join my Patreon. I will leave the link in the description box below. You can follow me on my Instagram at the Hood Soper. You can also go on my Facebook business page and follow me there, which is Ascendant Soaps. And you can also visit my website, www.ascendantsoaps.com. And I also have an Etsy store, Ascendant Soaps. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.